As part of a routine valve adjustment, or more likely a result of an aftermarket camshaft and valve spring install, you will need to adjust the valve clearance to be within specification. This would either be within OEM spec or the aftermarket camshaft manufacturer's spec. You'll need a few tools to properly complete this, a set of feeler gauges, and either a micrometer or a caliper. You'll first need to measure the clearance with the camshafts installed. You'll need to rotate the camshaft in a pattern to allow for the proper measurement at each valve location. Each measurement should be taken with the camshaft low pointed away from the bucket assembly. In order to keep all the information you are recording organized, you'll need to write it down. The correct size feeler gauge should give a bit of resistance when placed between the camshaft and the shimmed bucket assembly. For each valve location, you need to record the clearance measured with the feeler gauge. Once all locations are measured, you'll use this information to determine if any adjustments are needed. Once each valve location's clearance is recorded, you'll need to remove the camshafts to access the valve bucket assemblies. Compare all the recorded clearances to the manufacturer's spec. Any clearances that are not in line with the spec will need to be adjusted. Note the location of the valves that need adjustment. Remove those valves bucket assemblies and organize them in a way so you won't lose track of which locations they are from. These plastic organizers work great for this. Now it's time to measure the out of spec buckets and shims. I'd advise to first make sure your calipers and micrometer are calibrated correctly by measuring a few of the feeler gauges to ensure the measurements align. For each location that was out of spec, pull the shim off the bucket and measure with a caliper or micrometer. Using that information, you can now figure out the thickness the new shim needs to be. To calculate what size shim the new shim needs to be, you will take the thickness of the shim you have, add the clearance value you measured for this valve location, and then subtract off the recommended clearance based on the manufacturer's spec. To help illustrate what we are trying to do here, let's take a look at this simplified animation. Shown is a camshaft, shim, and bucket. For this example, if you measure a shim to be 100 thou, the clearance at that location was 12 thou, and the manufacturer's spec requires a clearance of 8 thou. Now, to determine the new shim required, you need to take the 100 thou plus the 12 thou, and then subtract off the 8 thou to determine the new shim size required. In this case, it would be 104 thou. This value is the thickness of the new shim you will need to buy. You have essentially made the shim thicker to tighten up the clearance between the shim and the camshaft to bring the clearance back into spec. Shims are sold in fixed increments, so if you're in between sizes, pick one that gets you closest to the recommended clearance spec. Repeat this process for all locations that were out of spec and purchase new shims for these locations. Once the new shims have arrived, reinstall the shims and buckets into their original locations, install the camshafts, and recheck all clearances. Everything should now be in spec. If not, you may have mismeasured something and will have to repeat the process over again. Good luck.